The war in Ukraine continues to be a hot topic. All over the world, this war is in the news. We can notice for some time that we are living a reversal of the war. The Ukrainian army supported by the allied countries and especially the United States wants to rebuild at all costs in order to push back the army of Vladimir Putin. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to consume the Russian army in only four months and the Russian army was in a big stalemate for more than two months. The Russian army has not won any settlement in Ukraine. It has lost more than 15,000 soldiers and hundreds of military equipment of vital importance for its military bases and command centers. Powerful weapons sent by the United States with valuable military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces in the hands of Ukrainian warriors have given the Russian army a salutary high mobility. M142 artillery systems destroyed more than 300 of the most valuable logistic networks and strongholds of the Russian army in the occupied Kherson region and Farishia region. In the south Ukrainian armed forces implemented a strategy of counterattack and partial attrition against the Ukrainian armed forces. Attacking and partially attrition against the Russian army with long-range artillery fire and neutralizing for critical bridges in Cairo. Trapping nearly 30,000 Russian troops in the region after weeks of speculation. Ukrainian fighters broke through the first Russian defense line and liberated the first settlement in Kherson after 20 days. Local news revealed on Monday that the Ukrainian army broke through the first Russian defense line near Kherson forcing the 109th DPR regiment to withdraw from its positions. The Ukrainian armed forces counterattack was so strong that paratroopers from the Russian air group of the 2nd DV which was supposed to support the Russian regiment also fled. Natalia Jamanu's spokeswoman for the Ukrainian Operational Command of Saturn confirmed that Ukrainian forces have begun offensive actions in different directions on the Saturn front to liberate the occupied areas. Harmonic added that all the details of the attack will be ready once the operation is completed. Sergei Klun deputy of Kharson District Council reported that the first line of Russian defense. Russia's weak position in the region is largely the result of Ukraine's affected use of U.S. supplied. Long-range missile systems, as well as the destruction of supply routes to the south. Recent attacks in the Crimea have also reduced Russian power. In this region, U.S. intelligence noted that Russia has not been able to deploy the necessary units to the front, leaving its forces vulnerable to attack from that country. We have already told you several times that the Kremlin has left nearly 30,000 soldiers to die in Kherson. The former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko said on Monday that the operation was already underway and began at 7 a.m. local time. Lund I. Poroshenko said the attack included bombers and missiles. We can talk about hundreds of missiles from Ukrainian artillery and dozens of bombings by Ukrainian fighter planes. This is the first time since February 2022 that such a massive concentration of Ukrainian troops with Western artillery and Western fighter jets and Western missiles were gathered for this. Counterattack, said the former president. Another significance of this was that 108 missiles could be fired simultaneously. Hamanink also told the Ukrainian public broadcaster Suspiln that the counterattack had been underway for some time. Hamanink also told Ukrainian public broadcaster Sussel that the counterattack had been underway for some time. In the sense that the Ukrainian army was tiring the enemy and did not give him the opportunity to advance. In his night speech on Sunday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky alluded to the seizure of the Ukrainian offensive. Incarcerate, 
the Ukrainian president made a quick reference to the four directions of the Ukrainian defenders and insisted that he could not go into details. Zelensky also referred to the return of Ukraine and life will return, the reputation of the people of Donbass will return. The ability to live will return the president insists that the Ukrainian flag will be raised once again in all cities of Donetsk and Mariupol. Nazem air defense systems and hundreds of thousands of artillery shells and missiles were sent under the previous aid program significantly refreshed the Ukrainian artillery and air force and the Ukrainian army was now ready for a heavy attack. For victory, the Ukrainian army inflicted fire damage to the workforce and amnesia groups in the Kherson region as well as to Russian travel routes the southeastern region of Ukraine. The massive attack of the Ukrainian armed forces demonstrates the superiority of the Ukrainian generals' tactical skills and knowledge and their ability to develop a strategy. Frankly Ukrainian generals can sense the right moment and according to them can carry out successful offensive and defensive operations against the Russian army. Ukraine would have chosen to attack Russian battle groups on the battlefield now, consisting of air defense systems, infantry tanks and other artillery. Russian soldiers are operating at half their normal strength which may explain Russian President Vladimir Putin's latest decree to increase the size of his army by 137,000 men. Ukrainian generals are capable of responding to every move, real or fictitious, by Russia. I.E. U.S. Army Lieutenant General Mark Hartling said Saturday that Russian President Vladimir Putin's call for more troops in his country's war with Ukraine shows his army is in trouble. Six months later, the Ukrainian army supported by military assistance from Russian allies has failed to achieve its objectives. Many of its soldiers were killed during the invasion and many of those who remained lacked motivational or leadership experience. In a recent effort to increase the number of combatants, Putin ordered the Russian army to add 137,000 new soldiers, bringing the total number to 1.15 million. We have repeatedly witnessed that the cause of voluntary military service and secret mobilization in the Russian Federation often fail to achieve their goals and do not attract the attention of Russians. There is great unrest in Russia at the moment and Russian supporters are increasing their activities in Moscow and other cities. Precious energy is running out on the fronts in Ukraine and it is the target of critical attacks from the inside. We hope that the heavy and massive attack launched by the Ukrainian armed forces will be successful and that Ukrainians will regain their freedom and territorial integrity as soon as possible. Help the channel to grow by liking and sharing the video and don't forget to leave your point of view in comments.